I don't have the best handling car right now. It's a little bit loose. So I'm having to take it easy entering some of these fast sections of the track. Out of all the Formula One circuits, this one is my least favorite. I cannot stand this racetrack. I've read also where some of the Formula One drivers hate it as well. And I tell you, when I first started driving here on F1 2018, I'll give you an example in a second, but it was very hard to learn this track. It took longer to learn this one more than it did all the others, the ones I haven't driven on before. Here's, a, here's one example right here. Turn one. It's almost blind. You can't see it until you get right up on it. I've used the markers and any other visual reference and it, You know, turn one is kind of over the horizon. And another example coming up here. There's a lot of sections of this track that's kind of deceiving, like this one right here. And then, Check oh! I guess I better pay attention to my driving. <laughs> Can't teach and drive at the same time, apparently. But anyway, there's sections of this track that... I don't think I want to change strategy. They kind of make you think that it's part of the actual circuit and it's not. Another, another example is right here on the left. That right there. And then of course you got the actual circuit. I mean it'll really throw you off if you're not used to this circuit. And just the way that it's set up It's just awful. They need to bring back the other... Green flag. We're racing again. Every time I try to talk, Jeff talks over me. Alright, be quiet. <laughs> um, anyway. I wish they would bring back the other track that was in France. <clears throat> this one was off the calendar for almost three decades. And for some reason, they bring it back. I know so many people out there are struggling with this trophy to get the gold rating and online. I'll tell you, you're not the only one. Even I'm struggling. I got up to 1,800 points once, and then, of course, some idiot took me out. So I dropped back down to like 1760 something, maybe. So now I'm having to build my way back up. But unfortunately, you're going to have that. This trophy is it's really not a it's really not your doing. It's in everybody else's hands. That's on the track with you. But one good thing I can say about the game, it, it will put you in lobbies where there's clean racers just like yourself. If you are one of those and if you are I thank you very much. And, and I can give some advice as well. Now, it's a long road, but even if you gain 
10, 15 points every race. You keep you keep working at it. Eventually, you'll get there. Just don't give up. And I can't even imagine why that trophy is only a bronze. And I'll be honest, with all the games that I have on my PS4, that is, outside of a Platinum, that is the most difficult trophy to get that I've come across. And it's only a bronze. I can't imagine. I mean, it's... That, that trophy should Lewis at least... Jeff, shut up, man. Dang. I can't imagine why. That, that trophy should at least be a silver. Perhaps even a gold. But I've, I've read reviews of it online, and I tell you, people are not happy with the creators of this game, and I, I agree. 2018 was fun. I, I'll tell you what, I love that game, but this one, I'm just not very fond of. It's just too much online BS. Like I said, that crap like that should be optional. So I think after this, after I win the championship of this game, and I may try to go after the platinum, I don't know, but but I, I tell you one thing, I'm not going to waste my whole life on it. I've already got three platinums. I don't <laughs> not not earning the platinum on this one is definitely not going to hurt me. I'm playing this other game called The Crew 2. If you've never seen this game, I highly recommend at least watching some YouTube videos on it. I've posted several. This game is the coolest game I've probably ever owned. It's kind of similar to Gran Turismo in a way. It's got a lot of street cars on there, different race cars. It's even got a Formula One car that you can purchase. It's, it's got bikes, dirt bikes, motorcycles. You can also drive buggies, monster trucks, boats, even planes. So it's, it's very diverse. It's got all kind of things you can do. Races. Of, um, Different, you know, they hold higher standards. The higher, you know, the higher category you go up, and you can win money and all that, all that stuff. It's, it's just great. My kids love it. You know, the, the the main reason I started my YouTube channel is that I wanted to help people learn how to race. Now, some people, a lot of people out there already know how to do it, but you know, you know, young kids just starting out. Maybe they can watch my videos and learn. And throughout all of this, you know, I, I really wasn't trying to make any money off of it. I, I never expected that. I really don't care, honestly. I work, you know, I'm a supervisor for an airline, so I, I make good money. I don't care. I really don't care if my video, videos make money or not, but, and I also started doing it for my kids. You know, this is something they can watch one day. Halfway point here. 
<clears throat> Gotta start saving some fuel here. So I don't know. I, I, I plan to buy NASCAR Heat 5. I'm just, I'm not really wanting to buy F1 2020. I just, I just don't know. I'm just, I like Formula One, but I'm, I'm not a diehard die fan like Europeans are. I love driving these race cars. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm, these are my favorite cars in the world to drive, but I'm just, I'm better at NASCAR. Sometimes you just got to stick with what you're, you're the best at. I can win the Platinums on the NASCAR games, really no problem. I mean, this this is like second nature stuff to me. But the Formula One games are just heading into a direction where they're adding more and more crap online, and I'm just, I, I'm so against that. I don't like the fact to where somebody who lives on the other side of the world could stop me from earning my trophies. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't like that. I just whoever, who's ever idea that was. I, I won't say it on here, but they. I just wish they were standing in front of me right now on this track. I'll, I'll just I'll leave it at that. That's how much I despise it. Now the Europeans they 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 may like the online racing. Good for them. Hey, you guys can have it. Now I've raced. I've met some great people online. Don't get me wrong. I some fantastic fantastic people. I enjoy talking to people while I race. As as long as they race me clean. If everybody raced clean, I would not have a big deal about it at all. There's so many people, they're careless and jealousy. I would even say jealousy as well plays a big role in that. If they see that you have an S rating like I do right now, they see that you're close earning gold, they get jealous. If they looked at my profile and saw that I had three platinum trophies, they'd, they'd probably really get mad. But, hey, I don't try to show off. That's not me. I want people to learn from me. I don't want to, you know, make people feel down about themselves. That's not me at all. Because you know their goal is not 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 to get the platinum. Because if they if they were serious about getting the platinum, they wouldn't be doing that crap. So why did they have the game again? I think I'm coming up on a pit stop here on lap 31, I believe. And I like to read people's comments on YouTube under Formula One races. I, I, I kid you not. I cannot believe how serious Europeans take Formula One. It's, I mean, they live, eat, breathe Formula One.
And it's the same with the United States, with NASCAR, especially the Southeast. And football. I mean, it's, it's okay to have a hobby. It's okay to like things, but man, if you get totally obsessed with stuff, don't you see it? It's not really fun anymore. Because every little thing that goes wrong is just going to make your day bad. That's kind of why I stopped watching NASCAR. I just, I just really got over it. I like to play the games, though. I'll still play the games. been a really good race so far. Haven't had any major problems. I ran off the track that one time while I was talking, but other than that, it's a little embarrassing. I'm usually better at that than that multitasking than I was at that moment, but You know, the car has actually gotten better as the race has progressed. At the start of the race, it was really loose. The fast right-hander in the third section of the track, third sector, I couldn't go flat out through there or the back end would. I could feel it getting light and wanting to come out from under me. This next turn right up here. Okay. I guess some of the fuel, a lot of the fuels died off, so not a problem now. there but so many times I push that button or release and it doesn't work All these guys are on super sauce. I 
I hope I can make up those few seconds I lost. It's rare for that to happen, but sometimes that, that will happen. Beware of that. If you do manual pit, And while I'm thinking of it, I had read somebody's post on Google, I believe it was, about the online race for the gold achievement. And now they said, with one of the updates, I can't remember which one it was, that if you use manual shift, manual ERS, and just pretty much manual everything and put traction control to medium, that you would earn more points and I can tell you now that's not true that's not true at all so don't believe it I think that I think it should but it doesn't to earn the platinum on this game you gotta go through hell I mean pure hell you have to d devote your life 100% to this game. And that's just something I can't do, so. It's not even worth it. Like I said, I've already got three Platinums. That's good enough for me. I'm proud of that. As long as I can make it through this last sector of the track, I should have another fastest lap, hopefully, before Hamilton takes it away from me. Wow, I made up that time nicely. Fresher tires really helped out. There it is. Okay, you need to move out of the way. Thank you. I do struggle at this track. It's hard to get a good rhythm. I can't wait to get to Belgium. That, I love that racetrack. I've won, I've won probably more online races there than any other track. even the classic races. Now those are the races where 
I can easily win because we're all on equal ground and I can I can really outdrive almost anybody in the field with the classic cars with with the newer cars people use these ridiculous setups to where you know they can gain five seconds every lap on the second place car this is it's insane And see, people think that that helps them win in every race, but it depends on who's in the lobby with you. And let's, if you have a level 30 and you're winning over people who have a level 10, you're really not going to gain any points. You may gain like one or two. You know, if Hamilton wins this one, I wouldn't mind one. I wouldn't. Mind, I wouldn't mind at all because he's dropped out of the last two races. I like that. I'd like to have a close points battle. Got a little loose there. I better keep an eye on that. Let's see. Look at my tires here. Wow, they're not even worn at all. Maybe I'm just pushing the car a little too hard. Trying to gain on Hamilton here. Now, I'm, I'm a big fan of Lewis Hamilton. I just don't like his car on his game, so... <laughs> I think old Daryl Wallace and NASCAR and the NASCAR Cup Series can learn a thing or two from him. You know, Lewis Hamilton is is a black driver, but he doesn't he doesn't act like he's privileged, like uh, like people need to treat him special because he's black, or he certainly doesn't act like he feels down about himself, like he needs the attention, like Daryl Wallace is doing in NASCAR. I understand where Daryl's coming from, but if your race is being attacked, as long as nobody's attacking you, don't worry about it.
It's like me personally. I, if somebody hates me because of my skin color, that's them. That doesn't stop me from going to sleep at night. Doesn't stop me from enjoying my time with my kids and my family. Certainly doesn't dampen my spirits taking a trip, going somewhere. Because I do like to travel a lot. Now don't let these people stand in the way. As long as they leave me alone, I'll leave them alone. That's how it is. Gain a lot of seconds here. The car is definitely handling a lot better on the mediums than it was the super softs. Just kind of have to take it easy, but the car is still fast despite that. For a track that I absolutely hate. It's actually not that bad right now. See what the heat looks like in the tires. I'm still reading sand. No, not too warm. Still kind of let off the gas a little right there. Just, just kind of worried about the back end just suddenly losing grip. You know, this these aren't stock cars like a NASCAR where you can you can your chances of saving are pretty good. But in these cars, no way. Unless you are just lucky. If it gets too far out of shape, I mean. If it's a slight slip, then yeah, you can you can get away with it. Check out the sparks coming off of the car. That is cool. Very realistic. These games have come so far from when I first started out. Way back in 96. My first racing game was on computer. And the graphics 
of that game compared to today is just is that game is non-existent. But definitely check out the crew too if you like cars any kind of car motorcycles dirt bikes monster trucks you name it it's on there it seems like even formula one cars like i mentioned earlier as well as boats and planes Very similar to Gran Turismo, it's just, this is more fun in my opinion. I must say a lot if my kids love it that much. They like to play my NASCAR games as well, but Formula One, they're definitely not into these games. They do have online things on there as well. I, I've only I've only participated in one online event, but if you're doing a free race or free drive, what is, is what is called on there? The, your opponents are ghosts. They're ghosted, so you can't make contact. And you know, honestly, that's what that's how it should be on the online races particularly this game. That way nobody can contact each other. See I've got I've got right ideas but people don't listen. That's the problem. I missed my mark on that corner. And see, everybody's driving style is different. I'm more of a slow in, fast out corner type of guy. And believe me, on online racing, that doesn't work. If you're slow in, People are going to run all over you. And then I'll see the same people driving in as deep as they can and then they overshoot the corner and can't get, can't get out of the corner fast enough. So, <laughs> I'm not saying my driving style is perfect. It's definitely not, but it's definitely better than a lot of these people on the online races. I could definitely take them to school. Now, would they learn anything? I don't know. Some people would, and some people wouldn't. I mean, there's just some people you can't fix stupid. People are just naturally, some people are just naturally born with that. It's there for good.
Come on, Hamilton. You gonna let me beat you again? Come on, Hamilton. You don't have to slow down and let me pass you, man. Come on. I want you to try to win. Look at him. What a great teammate, huh? Slowing down for me. How many teammates will do that? Oh, smoking a the tire. There we go. What a guy. Look at him. Just let me drive right past him. That's incredible. Oh, Hamilton, you tease. You messing with me now? Making me think that, oh yeah, I got a faster car. I just don't want us to make contact. I don't want that girl asking me that question to where my sportsmanship goes down again. <laughs> That's another part of the game I absolutely cannot stand, is those stupid questions. The interview portion after the races, I'm like, God. Yo, Ricardo, what are you doing a lap down, buddy? Ricardo is my favorite driver. This guy is just absolutely hilarious. A very energized person. If I do decide to get F1 2020, I may be his teammate, drive one of the Red Bull cars. All right, Hamilton, quit teasing me, buddy. We're running out of laps here. Great race, though. This turned out to be a really good race. And it seems at this point of the race that both of our cars are equal. I'm faster at one section of the track. He's faster in the next one. get under him here oh wow close the door
I'm definitely not trying to hit him. I'm Now, don't get me wrong now, if it's the last lap, I will do a bump and run if I have to. Turn the fuel up. All right, now he's going to block me. Waiting on Jeff. At some point, say you have five, five laps of fuel remaining. And he's probably going to get a run on me right here with the DRS. Yep, should have blocked him. Oh, oh. Didn't mean to do that. I think he ran into me, actually. Boy, this is getting intense, guys. He's faster on the straightaways, for sure. The way my car set up, I had to have it to where I can turn in the corners. That's the, that's the main thing here. I see he turned in on me right there. That was him. It's like these cars don't have awareness that you're around them. stupid DRS he's probably gonna get another run on me oh no maybe not we have five laps of fuel remaining. there it goes a little later than I expected oh a little lose there Sometimes I forget to shift. It definitely won't let you forget. Hey, this track isn't so bad now. It's still my least favorite because this is the one that I just really struggle to get a rhythm with. I love Belgium, Brazil. I could race at these tracks all day long. I think every driver has that track or a few tracks where they're just naturally good at. You know, you, you get into a nice rhythm lap after lap and you, you can often go faster each lap.
Now besides this track, the one, there is another one I often struggle at, even on the online races, it's Austria. Not the first turn, but the second one. The, the second main turn that's kind of up on a hill, and it's a very, very sharp right. Man, I overshoot that corner probably more than any other on the F1 calendar. And if it's raining, forget it. I'm going to overshoot it every time. I'll either do one or two things, overshoot it or undershoot it to where I slow down too much before I get to the corner. So either way, I'm losing time. Hockenheim is another one in Germany. I like that track, even the newer version. to go. I believe the next race is Silverstone. Sorry, I'm not exactly sure, but I don't have the calendar memorized. All right, final lap. No pressure from behind. I tell you, I honestly didn't think I was really going to win this one. I struggled early on with the handling of the car, but I mean, it got better. It definitely got better. Even without adjustments made throughout the race. Overcame that pit stop. I'm not sure what happened there. Keep an eye on him, make sure he's not doing a last second charge here. Wow, a victory at my least favorite track. 
It was a good race though. It, de it definitely was. I admit it. I had fun. Another win. 26 in Formula 1. Fantastic drive. Just fantastic. You deserve that race win. Right. Is that Vettel? Yeah. I tell you, after that pit stop, I, I thought it was over. I'm a little surprised that I was able to come back. All right, well, we'll see you in the next one. Fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.